was just another day in Gritty City. I stared out my office window, seeing the grayscale streets below me. A suffocating urban jungle, its inhabitants slowly suffering within it, yet unable to live without it. There's a knock at the frosted door of my private detective agency. And in saunters in my next big mistake. Hello? Is this the old Jaded Detective Agency? It is. I'm Detective Jaded. I heard you solve unsolvable cases. Is that true? I couldn't quite get a read on the mysterious woman. She was a woman of class, unlike the dames that frequented this side of town. But the proposition of an unsolvable case piqued my interest. But should I trust her? Detective? Hmm? The unsolvable case. What is it? Diamonds. And lots of them. Hidden inside a briefcase. That briefcase is lost in a briefcase. Missing diamonds, museum. eh? There Hidden are in a suspects, briefcase. Sounded like the M.O. of the downtown Diamond Dazzler. But he was behind bars. Or was he? Sounded like it wasn't gonna be a briefcase. <laughs> Detective, is everything all right? You just stopped talking and then started making funny faces and then laughed at nothing. It seemed the shrewdly observant lady had picked up on my penchant for internal narration. I'm fine. Detective Jaded was a particular sort of fellow. It was like he was half here and half somewhere else. I hoped he hadn't sleuthed me out already. If he finds out that I stole the diamonds, he'll likely turn me over to the police. I'm just a The woman became oddly cool, quiet for a while, dark city, lost in her own thoughts. By. Hiring the there was something was deeper going on here. More but than just diamonds. If he came close to the I truth, felt it in my bones, I know. but I couldn't quite put what my finger on it. I did not know which one of us would break the silence. The sexual tension was undeniable. The detective looked like he perhaps needed to fart. 